Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Figured I'd drop another video on Sunday for Sunday Studies. Let's take a look at this one. Look at the insane gains between the Nucleus of Allo slash BFR group and the normal training group, right? Alright, once again, uh, if you've been living on a rock and you're not familiar with Nucleus of Allo, just watch my other videos on it. But by now, you should already know what the fuck it is, right? Uh, I'm going to put the links uh, on the screen on the description. But long story short, it's the program I designed years ago um, based on years and years of observation. And I named it Nucleus of Allo because the goal is to increase the shit out of the satellite cells and nuclei within your muscle, leading to faster growth. But anyway, so let's take a look at this study. All right, so this was 19 days of high-frequency BFR, right? Guys, remember, um, there are many, many ways to apply Nucleus of Allo. Blood flow restriction is just one of my favorite methods because you don't need a lot of weight. Um, but remember, you don't have to use blood flow restriction. I always get this question in the comment section. Blood flow restriction is only good if you're using very, very light weights, which I normally don't recommend, right? You want to use a weight that you could do anywhere from 15 to 20 reps, but no more than 30. But if you decide to use a weight that's lighter than that, then that's when you want to use blood flow restriction. So it's up to you, right? Zero difference between BFR and normal training um, if you're using a normal weight. Anyway, so this study was comparing two groups. One group was obviously doing BFR and the other group was doing um, just, you know, light ass weight, which we all know sucks ass, right? Again, unless you're using BFR. But anyway, so we focused on the results of group one. Forget about group two. We know they're not going to build muscle anyway. But yeah, so let's take a look at group one's results because those were insane. And it just show you how powerful nucleus overload is if it's done correctly. Now, first, does it qualify as a nucleus overload study? And I would say, guys, for a training program to qualify as nucleus overload, it has to meet four basic requirements, right? Or at least three out of four. One, it has to be very, very high frequency, right? So at least, at least three times a week, up to obviously seven, depending on your ability to recover. And yes, this study was, they did 23 sessions in 90 days, right? So obviously some days they did more than one session a day. So pretty much five days a week. So that falls into that range. Next, it has to be very high weekly volume, at least, again, keyword, at least 20 sets per week, ideally more, right? I usually recommend about five sets a day for as many days as you can recover from. And sure enough, they did over 30 sets per week. Third pillar of nucleus of load is it has to be either very high reps or very high time on the tension, right? Maximizing the pump. And sure enough, again, first set was 40 reps, second one was 12, eight, six, again, 30 second reps in between. Once again, the goal to maximize the pump. So this met 73 out of the four biggest pillars in the consumer load. Now the last pillar, very high recovery, so the mTOR reset period. This one did not have an mTOR reset period simply because they were just trying to actually study different things. They wanted to see the difference between BFR and non-BFR on satellites and things like that. So they didn't really do the mTOR reset, but that's fine because at least we get to see uh, the effects of the first three pillars. And again, I already mentioned the other studies where they actually did the mTOR reset, and you guys know how that turned out. All right, now look at the results, guys. This is time-adjusted gains, by the way. So muscle fiber area, time-adjusted gains. You have to adjust for time, right? You can't compare uh, studies if, uh, you know, let's say one is eight weeks, one is 20 weeks. You can't be like, well, look, this study did more gains than this one. No, you got to adjust for time, obviously. So anyway, so look here. So this is the nucleus of a little group, right? The blood flow restriction, very high-frequency group. And um, this is how much gains they put on, right? And again, this is time-adjusted. Now compare this to the normal training group, right? Keep in mind, guys, most studies or, you know, most training interventions, if you're putting on 15 to 20 percent uh, more gains in MFA, right, most fiber area, that is huge. That's considered, you know, pretty fucking good, right? So 18 uh, percent is the sweet spot. And that comes out to about 1.3, 1.5 percent per week, right, on average. If you have elite genetics, right, so based on studies that looked at people that are very, very high responders, elite genetics, but these guys were putting on about 37% increases in MFA, right? So that comes out to about 2.3, 2.5% gains per week on average, right? If you adjust for time. Look at the fucking results of the nucleus of a load BFR group, right? In fucking same, guys. And again, I'm going to put the study in the description. You guys could check it out yourself. You can analyze it, run the numbers yourself, blah, 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 right? Look at the difference. Put on about 30 to 40%, so about 35%. In just 19 days. And here's the crazy thing about that, because somebody might think, well, it's probably inflammation. Nope. They actually measured the gains after inflammation and after cell swelling went down. And that's what makes the study so amazing is because again, these guys are not idiots. They know that eventually if you're training with that kind of volume, you're gonna have some kind of swelling, right? So what they do is they actually wait until the swelling goes down. It's usually after three days or so. Sometimes they wait even 10 days. 
they wait until the the swelling goes down they wait until uh everything is accounted for so you know increase in water mass water retention things like that and then they measure so even after you account for all of these factors nucleus overload destroys every other training method once you're just for time and again the results was mainly due to the frequency remember it wasn't due to the bfr because like i said that's why i told you guys bfr is optional you don't have to do it because uh they did a lot of follow-up studies where they compared uh using bfr and people that were already using enough weight so in, you know lifting anything higher than 40 percent of your one max and once you equate frequency and equate volume there's zero difference zero difference so the main advantage the main reason behind the discrepancy in uh in size gains comes from the frequency so these people are training twice per week once or twice per week whereas in a, in a high frequency studies it's obviously at least three to five times per week and these results were replicated over and over and over again so it's not all oh, the simple size are small or oh, maybe it was a nope you can look it up yourself these were replicated plenty of times next look at the increase in satellite cells again the main reason behind nucleus overload guys remember that's why i called it nucleus overload right kind of like information overload meaning too much information testosterone overload too much testosterone nucleus overload too many nuclei so once again the proof that nucleus overload works when you look at the molecular level look at the increase that again time adjusted right increase in satellite cells over 280 percent right and if you adjust that per week again time adjusted that was about 245 percent by week one which is insane prior to this the biggest spike we've ever seen in satellite cells was about 150 percent and they had to do um damaging exercise really damaging exercise because you guys know there are two ways to increase satellite cells it inflict very heavy damage on the muscle which is not optimal for growth or doing high frequency training whereas in this group they achieved that without doing substantial damage to the muscle and for those who don't know too much damage is actually bad for muscle gains and that's the beauty of nucleus overload is you're actually reducing the amount of damage you're causing to the muscle allowing most of the protein synthesis to go towards muscle growth as opposed to recovery from damage so anyway so back to this all right so to about 245 percent time adjusted gain in satellite cells and this is only by about week one whereas normal training you lucky um if you get 30 to 50 percent increase in satellite cells that's what we usually see if you look at all the the dozens and dozens of studies on satellite cells about 30 to 50 percent is the sweet spot and this is after weeks of training all right, so that comes out to about 10% once you adjust for time. All right, so massive, massive difference. So again, why the faster gains? Why does nucleus overload work so fucking well? I told you guys, the growth factors that emerge from training have a very, very short half-life, especially once you make it past the newbie stage, right? So if, you, if you've been training for a long time, it's even shorter, right? So all these factors that eventually, and obviously you guys know, the protein synthesis response from training, which is, again, when muscles actually being built, extremely extremely short duration about 12 to 16 hours if you're a very very trained individual right and that's why steroids work so well right because they allow you to keep all these factors elevated for an extended period of time that's why if you're on steroids or you have really 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 good genetics you can train once a week and make amazing gains well guess what most of you guys are not on steroids and don't have elite genetics so you have to manually keep your growth factors up regulated which is why high frequency and high weekly volume is so fucking important and that's why i made so so many gains once i started implementing nucleus overload and obviously full body workout hsp training the whole nine yards right remember guys i have some of the shittiest genetics on youtube remember i picked that two years right after two years of training this is what i fucking look like i know people who've been training for less than three fucking months and look better than i looked after two years of training and I was doing everything I read in magazines, you know, bro split, uh, progressive overload, lift heavy, uh, train only once a week, right? Because, you know, you don't want to overtrain, you know, all that bullshit, right? And it's not until I started doing full body workouts, nucleus overload, and obviously milk. I mean, my milk is optional, but you guys know that's my baby right there because um, I have a shitty appetite. So, again, watch my milk video. This part is optional. But that's when I started to fucking take off, just like the study show, just like the overwhelming anecdotes show. So, there you have it. I could make so many more videos on this because there are so many studies now on nucleus overload. I'm, I'm so excited because you guys know back in the days, everyone used to say it was bro science, right? Now that there are so many fucking studies on it, I absolutely love it. Because now it's no longer what well, millions just spit in our theories. No, it's facts that are replicated over and over again. So try it out, guys. Remember, guys, it's free. You have nothing to fucking lose. It's free. Try it out. If it doesn't work, oh well, me can fucking lie. You don't have to use my program. You could pick any full body routine as long as... It meets the basic requirements of muscle growth. Combine it with nucleus overload, you will make gains. All right, guys, that's it. And don't forget the top 10 nucleus overload rules. 
All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nicholas of Lord. Or you could just buy the share at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.